In the shadows of California's wildfire threats, one home builder is taking a revolutionary approach and constructing an entire neighborhood designed to fight flames block by block. You can see embers flying through the air. At a builders conference last summer, KB Home Southern California Regional General Manager Steve Rofner witnessed a game-changing demonstration by the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety, known as IBHS, a nonprofit research organization that works to help reduce property damage to enhance building materials during natural disasters. The home built in the 80s burned down in about 45 minutes. The home built to their standards did not burn at all. And I was so taken by it. That demonstration sparked a collaboration between KB Home and IBHS to develop the Dixon Trail neighborhood in Escondido. So we're looking across 64 homes. We're in the first designated wildfire prepared neighborhood. IBHS CEO Roy Wright walks us around the home to show us their comprehensive fire resistance strategy. The siding, it's stucco. It's not flammable. The eaves are entirely enclosed and it's a tile roof. While California fire zone codes require Class A rated materials, Wright says that they've gone further, adding dual pane tempered windows and a critical defense space. The clearest path to insurability is reducing risk, and this neighborhood is reducing its risk. The potential impact extends beyond individual homes. If fire is to come down out of one of those foothills, this will serve as a passive fire break literally protecting the next neighborhood. KB Home did not disclose the exact cost of fire resistant materials, but homes are priced at Escondido's medium, starting at about a million dollars. And that's why we're doing this project is really understand what things can we do that would be more economical if we did the elevations a certain way, design it a certain way. As California continues to face increasing wildfire risks, this neighborhood represents a potential blueprint for resilient community design. Over the course of this year, we need to see a dozen more developments move in this direction across the state, and then we need to see this just become normal. In Escondido, Abby Black, CBS 8.